I want to fight next in, in the UFC 250, the Brazil card. It's a pay-per-view card in Brazil. It's not all the time. They did the pay-per-view card in Brazil, so I want to fight in that one bad. I only fought in Brazil on my first professional MMA fight. There was, there was like a three days notice fight. So I want to fight there for have the fans on my side. It would be nice to have like Jose Aldo fighting, Shogun Rua, Minotoro, Verdun, a lot of stars. So I want to be there. And those guys, if they're not on their last fight, they're on their last fight. So time for them to pass the torch for the new generation. So I think Gilbert and I, the Burns brothers, are coming to, to take the torch and to represent Brazil at the top level of MMA. And I think there are a lot of interesting fights for me, but I think right now I want to fight a guy coming from a wing and I have a little hype. Bryce Mitchell also has a little hype. Could be a fight against him or a fight against Chase Hooper. I think those two fights made sense. I spoke to my manager, Ali, Ali Abdelaziz, and I said, I spoke to him today, to him last week, that I want to be on the card, that I'm already training, that that be on that card with you. You mean a lot to me, and hopefully I'll get my my what I'm asking for. They're both mainly grapplers, and my grappling is is better than them. I think I'm better than them everywhere. I think the guys that are coming winning, they have height. I also have height behind after this performance. So I think it'll be a interesting fight of guys that you want to make their way to the top. But if the UFC chose me to put me on that card and give me a lot of fights, I wouldn't say no. But I think those fights would be interesting fights for the fans to watch. Yeah, it was from 2015. We were doing a, a, a photo shoot and we did like a couple of pictures and to have some. So I'm like, I'm going to post this one today. It was modern there. It's for, for a few magazines there. At the time, we were doing it for me. A few others and only fighter from the gym. So, yeah, it was just a, a throwback. So, I'm not only inside the cage guy. <laughs> they, they come by my place. Not a lot, but they come like, it, it's early in the morning, sometimes 6 a.m. This time was not bad. It was like 7.30. It was not bad. Sometimes 5 a.m. They come here like, like a, I would say like a good eight time. Not bad. So sometimes they're at the gym waiting for me, or they sometimes they come to my place. In my eyes, I said in interviews before that I was bad, better than Landwehr everywhere. It's just tough, and he comes forward with a lot of volume, but like technically speaking, I was better than him everywhere. And if he didn't change his approach, I was going to finish the fight quickly. I thought I was going to head, I was thought I had the, the bar stroke that I locked up. But he managed to like kept pushing the cage first with his feet, kind of breaking my balance. So I had to not put all my power on the choke. And then later in the choke, he grabbed the cage and then he pulled my glove in. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna chill out here. I'm not going to spend the energy unnecessary. So when, when we come up, I threw the knee on the body and he didn't like, he threw the flurry. And it was against the cage. I managed to get a Muay Thai clinch, and it's a precise me. One of the chin, he was out, and he was talking a lot, also unnecessary drama. Before, like I saw the interviews after the fight. Before the fight, I just spoke on the fight, but he was saying that I didn't have level to go to the UFC, that I wasn't good, that I'm just on the UFC because I'm I'm, a, I'm Gilbert's brother. But if you watch my career and if you see the things that I've done, that's totally not it. And that I was just trying to grab his legs. So I think he was a little bit delusional before the fight and he paid bad for it. And like you should never, even if you're doing trash talk, you should never say your opponent's trash. If you win your opponent that you say is trash, you, there's no merit on their win. And if you lost the opponent's trash, it's even worse. So I think he needs to change his approach, change his strategy, go back to the drawing board, be a little more humble. His parents didn't make him humble, but I did a little bit. Hope he learned his lesson next time he comes to fight. 
he respects his opponents and and work on his own skills and talk about himself instead of talk about his opponents. I think Gilbert is better than Damian Meyer. Like the equivalence on the Jiu Jitsu, but Gilbert's better on the striking, has a better gas tank than Damian Meyer. Usually when they get the third round, even the fight against against Oscar, he was already slowing down. Gilbert won't slow down. And Gilbert has an edge on the striking, on the stamina, and on the wrestling, Gilbert and Maida have pretty good wrestling. They have the they are similar on wrestling in jiu-jitsu. But I think Gilbert can put pressure well forward, throw big hands like he does, have big head hands, and even take Maya down. If Gilbert is on top. I'm sure he could finish Maya with ground and pound or with jiu-jitsu. Gilbert is like a very decorated jiu-jitsu fighter, and he does jiu-jitsu very well. He's not using a, losing a lot lately. But I say to him, hey, you need to work your jiu-jitsu more. Your striking is good, but you don't need to strike all the time. If you take those guys down, you're going to finish them quickly. And he's like, yeah, yeah. So on this fight, hey, he's trying to get back to the roots to lose his jiu-jitsu if necessary. But if he, he would try to finish the fight. I believe Gilbert can finish the fight. If you all respect the Maya, which I love to watch, but... Uh, Gilbert needs to go there and get the finish, an impressive finish, a statement finish, so he can jump up on the rank. Against Master King, that meant a lot. He was he was a tough fighter. He came like, I think he was like in a, a nine fight in his trick, and all knockouts maybe fought. And hey, I was coming in here like four wins in a row. Four, oh, yeah. Six, six, I don't know. A bunch of wins in a row. And who was supposed to win that fight was supposed to get a title shot at one at the one championship featherweight belt. I won the fight, but it was an impressive finish. I took him down and finished him like two minutes in the first round. So it was a great finish. He's a tough fighter. He proved himself against like at the others like last year. And he's Hurt now, that's why he's, he didn't fall for the title. But I think that was that was my uh, a win that I like the most. Uh, you guys can find me on all my social medias: Herbert Burns MMA on Twitter, Herbert the Blaze Burns on Facebook, and Herbert Burns on Instagram. So follow, send me. Sometimes I do questions there. You guys can ask me directly questions to me, and keep updates. Keep following to my routine. I try to be active on social media. I try to. To say sometimes I think my opinion needs to be heard between like about some MMA fights. I will let you guys know what I think about. And I'm looking forward to to fights very soon in the UFC. I'm going to Brazil with Gilbert to corner him on his fight. So I'm going to be in Brazil for a while, and then I come back to US. I will be back to train him in Florida, to send for MMA and in combat clubs, and that's it.